President Trump is expected to break a long-standing tradition and not participate in Wednesday's inauguration. Meanwhile, the first of several events for President-elect Biden kicked off tonight. Nicole Killian has more from the White House. President Trump remained behind closed doors Saturday, but there was no shortage of activity at the White House. His lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was spotted entering the complex while staffers carted out boxes of their belongings. With four days left in his term, CBS News has learned President Trump is contemplating a final send-off full of pomp and circumstance on the morning of the inauguration. I, Donald John Trump. Mr. Trump will not attend the inauguration, unlike Vice President Mike Pence, who finally phoned to congratulate his successor, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, late this week. Four separate House committees launched a joint review of the Capitol insurrection as harrowing new details emerged about how close a mob got to the vice president and his family. At one point, rioters were less than 100 feet from where the Pences were hiding before the Secret Service evacuated them to safety. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar cited the siege in his resignation letter and took a parting shot at the president, quote, unfortunately, the actions and rhetoric following the election, especially during this past week, threatened to tarnish these and other historic legacies of this administration. Donald Trump remains a threat to our democracy and will be held accountable. As the Senate prepares for an impeachment trial, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi declined to give a timetable for when the article could be handed over. So urgent was the matter. They're now working on the, taking this to trial. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House.